NVIDIA's GeForce Now is a very popular cloud gaming platform that we categorize as an own it, play it, pick up and play cloud gaming platform. This means you have to own the games you want to play on this platform from third party game distributors. The service launched in beta in 2013 and officially launched in 2015. And now we're going to go over exactly how to get started with GeForce Now on the PC. Let's jump in. GeForce Now has over 1300 games on the platform supporting games from third party game distributors like Steam, Origin, Epic Games, and more. This includes plenty of free games from these distributors like Fortnite. GeForce Now also supports nearly all common platforms including Windows PCs, Macs, Android Mobile, and TV, plus Safari, Edge, and Chrome browsers. Also don't forget TV apps on the LG TVs and the brand new Samsung Gaming Hub. GeForce Now has three tiers you can subscribe to, including a free tier. You do need to have an NVIDIA account to sign up and play on all tiers, so sign up for a free NVIDIA account if you don't have one. If you're looking to see which tier is for you, check out our full review of all the GeForce Now tiers in the video above. If you are looking to subscribe to either the Priority or the RTX 3080 tier, this gateway will get you to the Payment Overview page to complete your GeForce Now membership purchase. Once you have logged into your account and completed your purchase, you're going to want to download the desktop app because it's the best way to play on the service. Granted, using the browser works the same way if you want to use it, but we'll start with the Windows app. Check out our GeForce Now playlist to see the other videos we have on Android and iPhone. Go to the download page and download the Windows app, run the installation, and once complete, you'll have an icon on your desktop for quick access. Open the app and you'll get to the latest version notes, then end up on the dashboard, where you can select the games to play on the service. It'll also give you some quick tool tips, but we'll go over everything you need to know about the app. The first thing you need to do is log into the app in the right corner. This will open a browser window to allow you to log in. It might require a two-factor authentication or an email verification depending on your account settings. Once you're logged in, your dashboard will be tailored to you. We'll go to the settings from here. It's good to set some of these settings to get the best experience when gaming. First, you will see the status of your membership. Hitting Manage will open a browser window to manage your account. Below this, you can activate a gift card or promo code here. Got a free month of GeForce Now? This is where you apply it. The Connections box stores your third-party game distributor account credentials, so you don't have to log in with them every time you launch a game. We have our Epic Games login saved for games like Fortnite. They also have options for Ubisoft and Steam as well. The server location defaults to Auto, which will connect you to the best GeForce Now server closest to you. Feel free to choose another if you want. You can also test your connection by hitting the Test Network button to test if your download speed and latency is suitable for gaming. Remember being connected by Ethernet is preferred. If you're on a Wi-Fi connection, it's recommended to be connected to a 5 GHz Wi-Fi connection. A 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi connection might give you connection and stuttering problems, especially with the RTX 3080 tier. The streaming quality settings will vary for different users. We like using custom to get the best bit rate from GeForce Now possible, especially connected through Ethernet. Now if you're on limited bandwidth, choose the correct setting that will be best suited for your situation. This section is also where you can set the resolution for your gameplay if you're using the RTX 3080 tier. Make sure to set the correct settings for 4K and 1440p resolution. Remember that as of now, you can only get to 120Hz when set to 1440p. Also know that if you want to go to 4K, you will need at least a Pascal grade graphics card, a GTX 1000 series, to handle the 4K video decoding process. If not, you'll have to settle for 1440p resolution even if you have a 4K monitor. Now the in-game graphics option allows you to change the graphics settings in-game and have them saved for each individual game. If you are interested in the other options, especially the resolution scaling, hit the learn more link for more details. Let's go back to the dashboard and use the search bar to search for a game you own and want to play. You can also scroll down the dashboard to choose the game you want through various categories. I'm going to search for Fortnite to play since this is a popular free game on the platform. Use the game drop down to open the game options and add the game to your GeForce Now library. You can also add the game as a desktop icon for easy access. Now if you're going to play a game that is supported on multiple third party distributors, choose the one you want to use before you hit play. Now if you're subscribed to the free tier, you might have to wait in a queue to get access to a machine to play your game. If you have the priority or the RTX 3080 tier, 
you should get access to a machine and load your game in about 30 seconds. The GeForce Now app supports mouse and keyboard along with various controllers. It also supports multiple controllers for local couch multiplayer games. Please note that GeForce Now has time game sessions for all different tiers. One hour for the free tier, six hours for the priority or founders tier, and eight hours for the RTX 3080 tier. The GeForce Now app will notify you that you are getting close to the end of your session during your last hour. The timer will stay on screen during your last 10 minutes and then will give you a full screen countdown for the last five seconds. I would recommend stopping your session beforehand and starting up a new one before this happens so you can close your game correctly. Now while playing your game, you can access the in-game overlay by hitting Ctrl G. The overlay will slide out from the left and have various in-game options. The cog icon at the top will present the settings for the GeForce Now app. You'll be able to change the streaming quality to changing the positions of the icons presented on the GeForce Now app. Feel free to configure these in-game options at your will. GeForce Now also has the ability to capture certain highlights in-game for specific games. Fortnite is one of those games where it will save clips of certain eliminations and wins. If you back out of these settings, the record, instant replay, screenshots, and these highlight files are viewable in the gallery location. They are also stored on your PC, and you can change the location of these saved clips by going to the files and disk space and hitting the folder and changing the path. The GeForce Now app also has the ability to display your network connection statistics. It has two settings. The standard mode presents all the stats of your connection to your GeForce Now server, including the game FPS, stream FPS, ping or latency in milliseconds, along with the bandwidth used, server location, and resolution of the game. The stats also has a compact mode, which will feature a smaller display box with just the game FPS, stream FPS, ping, and server location. Also, you can access the stats quickly by hitting Ctrl N on the keyboard. The exclamation mark icon allows you to give feedback to the GeForce Now team. Feel free to report a bug, request a new feature, or even request new games to be added to the platform. The last option on the in-game overlay is to quit the game you are playing. You can also quit the game by quitting the game normally. This will close your session and back you out to the GeForce Now app where you can choose another game to play or close the app altogether. Overall, GeForce Now is a great way to start playing your games in the cloud. If you are a PC gamer looking to get into cloud gaming, GeForce Now is a great alternative to buying a high-end PC to play your favorite games with. Just make sure you have decent internet. I would recommend a minimum download speed of 50 megabits per second for priority members and 100 megabits per second for the RTX 3080 tier for maximum bitrate streams, especially if you live with others using the internet. If you like this getting started video of GeForce Now, give us a like. Also, don't forget to subscribe to get the latest news, gameplay, and comparisons on cloud gaming at the only place where you can do battle in gaming heaven, Cloud Gaming Battle.